Hey everybody, welcome to Mrs. Sampson's Storytime. Now today we've got a story about Marvin the Sheep. <laughs> now I'm going to read the blurb on the back. And it says, Marvin is not a happy sheep. He is smaller than the other sheep. He can't run as fast, nor can he jump as high. So Marvin decides to eat. But however much he eats, Marvin still always wants more. In fact, Marvin goes a little bit too far, at which point drastic action has to be taken. So that was the blurb. Sounds good, doesn't it? Should we have a quick look at Marvin? He's huge! Marvin wanted more! <laughs> it's a funny story, this. We did read this earlier on in the year, but it's just such a good one that I knew you'd want to listen to it again. Marvin wanted more and look at our exclamation mark at the end by Joseph Theobald. We've got a setting to start with, haven't we? It's like a field, a meadow. Marvin wanted more by Joseph Theobald. That's our title page. The sheep in the meadow loved to play together all day long. But Marvin was feeling rather gloomy. What's the matter? asked Molly. I can't run as fast or jump as high as the other sheep, grumbled Marvin. I'm too small, it's not fair. But I like you as you are, said Molly. I think that must be Molly. So this must be Marvin is complaining that he's too small, isn't he? Saying that during the games he can't run as fast or jump as high. But Marvin wanted to be just a little bit bigger. So when the sheep had finished eating, Marvin ate some more. As Marvin ate more, he grew bigger and bigger. And soon he could run faster and jump much higher than the other sheep. Jumping over the net. But as he grew bigger and bigger, he just wanted more and more until he could not stop. Eat him, Hedge. He's huge, isn't he now? Don't eat the forest, called the other sheep. You're getting too big, cried Molly. But Marvin loved getting bigger. Just a little bit more, he said. And he munched up the forest in a matter of minutes. That's enough, shouted Molly. But Marvin was too busy to listen. Oh dear, that's Molly there, Shane. Just enough. He gobbled up mountains. He drank whole lakes. But Marvin still wanted more. Then he swallowed an entire country in one big gulp. But Marvin still wanted just a little bit more. <laughs> Looks like he's standing on the world in the ocean. He's that big. So he jumped onto the moon and ate the world. <laughs> but then Marvin stopped. He was all alone. He missed the trees and the meadow and the other sheep, but most of all he missed Molly, and this made him very, very ill. And then, all of a sudden, I think you know what happens, don't you, in the story? Bah! Marvin was sick. Out came the world and everything with it. Although things weren't quite the same as they were before, Marvin felt much better. I like you just the way you are, 
whispered Molly. I like me just the way I am too, said Marvin. <laughs> oh, the end. What a funny story. I think the moral to that story is, like yourself, just the way that you are. You don't need to change. You just be happy in yourself. Bye.